Amanda and Amelia here to show you guys some things that the baby bugs can be doing at home. We're gonna start with a few ways to make tummy time more exciting. Amelia's been working on a lot of tummy time at home lately. And this is important to stretch out the neck, the back, to help strengthen the arms. It helps them to gain control over their head movement, which is really important. But a lot of babies do not like tummy time. So to make it more exciting, I have a few options for you. Number one is to prop them up where they can see better. This still allows them the chance to use their own muscles in their neck and their back to turn their head around. But it's more exciting because they can see more of the world. They don't want to just be looking at the floor. They don't want to be straining too hard to see what you are up to. So this is a way that they can look up and around and you can use your leg. You can use a pillow. You can use a rolled up blanket or towel. It's also for our beginning crawlers, which is not quite Amelia yet, but if your bug is a little bit older and they're a beginning crawler, they might push against the floor to go forward. This helps them to get the motion of going up off their belly while they're on the floor. Because a lot of babies might just crawl with their arms, which is okay too, but it helps them to really kind of push up and over and maybe reach forward. So this is one way. Another fun way you can have some tummy time is on your self, on your chest or on your belly. This still counts as tummy time because they are moving their head and their neck around freely, which is the important part that we're working on most. So maybe they can lay on you while you lay. <laughs> maybe you could do it while standing up. A lot of parents do it while baby wearing, which we do a lot too. So that's another option. Another really fun way is called the airplane. Be careful of drool. I have a very drooly baby right now. But as they gain more control over their head and their neck, you guys can't see, but she is smiling. <laughs> um, this is a great fun way that they like because they can see you better. That's important. They don't like just looking at the floor. Let me see if I can get a, a better shot. What do you think? <laughs> she's smiling all right and then another way similar to this but maybe a little bit easier um on the back you know if you're not comfortable with this or be able to do this a little bit maybe move around a little bit like this another option is to put them up on an elevated surface so i'm gonna use my trap step here put you right here this is a great place for them to be able to see you at eye level. So you can use a chair that's really big. Um, you can use your sofa, that's a good option. Something where you can prop them up a little bit higher. Something stable, of course, maybe not a stack of pillows, but this is a great option. Yeah, just let them stretch out and have fun. And like I said, if they're able to see you at eye level, it makes it a lot more exciting. Um, you can also use toys and visuals for them to reach for to make it more exciting too. So, don't forget to get your tummy time in while you're away. That is so important. If Amelia will let me, I'll show you a couple of stretches real quick too. Since we're pushing up on those shoulders and since we are using so much strength in our arms and our neck and our back and everything, a couple of good stretches, the chest stretch. You're gonna hold them above the elbow because you really want the stretch to come from the shoulder and the chest. You're gonna pull them back and put them in. Give a little snug hug from your bug. Out and in. The best thing to do is put it to some music. Shoulder stretch, up. You want the arm to be as straight as it can be so you get that stretch from the shoulder. Yeah, yeah, you can count one and two and three and four and you can do them at the same time or you can alternate. I always tell my bugs in class and my parents, switch it up. If they're getting bored, if they're getting antsy, if they're not wanting to do it anymore, switch it up, make it more exciting, make it more exciting. Um, and then one more is our, we're gonna flap our wings like a bird. 
another great way to stretch out those shoulders. So when they're pushing up during tummy time, this helps give them a little bit more strength and flexibility eventually. It also is really important for your older bugs that are starting to move and crawl around. If they fall over while they're trying to balance, they're gonna catch themselves with their arm or their shoulder and there's gonna be a lot less injury or risk for injury if they have those strong shoulders. So thanks Amelia for sticking it out with me. It's almost time to go take a nap, I think. Um, but we wanna see you, your bug in action and you guys working at home. So we will see you soon, bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>